In this lecture, we will look at how we can take Unity customization and editor scripting another step further by allowing certain scripts that we specify to run when we aren't in play mode. Under normal circumstances, the scripts that we write are only activated in the scene once we hit play and enter play mode to test our game. However, Unity gives us access to allow our scripts to run even when the game isn't in play mode by using the execute and edit mode attribute. How we use this attribute is very simple. We just type it in as the line above any class that we want to execute even when we aren't in play mode. Let's look at an example. First, we will go to our assets folder and create a new c -sharp script. I will name mine edit example. Next, we will open the script and add a debug log statement inside of the update function body. I'll pass in the string running in edit mode to be logged to the console. We will then put the attribute directly above the class declaration line. When we save our script and then attach it to an object in the scene we are currently in, for example the main camera, you will see that it is being called as the string we specified is being printed to the console. Now, you may have a question as to why our print statement, inside of update, is only printed to the console once. Should an update print multiple times per second? Under normal circumstances, yes. However, not when using the execute and edit mode attribute like we are here. Using this attribute on a class that contains an update function makes the update function only run when something in the scene is changed. For example, let's move our main camera using the move tool to force our print statement to print to the console a few more times. As you can see, when we drag the main camera, the update function was called again and again.